Hello, good evening. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, good How evening. are you? Ready? I'm fine. Yes, yeah, I'm ready. ready. <laughs> yes, are you, you ready for your class? Sorry? You better. I feel better. Yes. Yes. I still have like a problem in my lungs, but but I feel better at least. <laughs> okay. Well, today is our class number 14. It's our class number 14. And well, as you answered in the survey, uh, the majority of the people voted for comparative. So today I prepare a lesson based on comparative. So we are going to study comparative so much this evening. <laughs> and well, it's our class 14, Thursday, June 15, 2023. We are going to finish next Monday. Okay, we have class tomorrow and on Monday. And well, the lesson. At the end of the class, you will be able to make comparisons with adjectives and with nouns. We have five activities recalling previous knowledge, comparisons with adjectives, comparisons with nouns, practice, and wrap up. Okay, for the review of the previous class, well, do you remember what is a comparison? What is a comparison? Comparison. What is a comparison? It's more. Yeah, I have this picture as an example of a comparison. And in this comparison, I am comparing two animals. What are the two animals? Rabbit and turtle. A turtle. Rabbit and turtle. Exactly. The turtle and the rabbit. Oh. Are they the same or are they different? A different. A different. Ah, then we have this sign, right? Different. Uh huh. So a turtle is not as fast as a rabbit. I am comparing, but in this compar comparison is negative, right? It's negative. A turtle is not as fast as a rabbit. And I'm using as, as. In the middle is a, what is this? Fast. Where, noun, or adjective? Adjective. It's an adjective, exactly. Adjective. It's not as fast as a rabbit. But we can say that a cat is a cat as fast as a rabbit. Yeah. Is a cat as fast as a rabbit? What do you think? Maybe. I think Something. so, because my cat is very fast. Yeah, so maybe. <laughs> maybe because I have a three turtles and it's run it's fast. They are fast. No, no, it's uh, slow. To Your turtles. Work. Your turtles. Yeah. Oh, yes. okay. Good, good. In the next slide, we have another example. I am as old, I'm as old as my husband. What does it mean? That my husband and I are the same age, the same age, okay? Equal, it's equal. I'm as old as my husband. So let's start with the topic. When we use comparisons, we want to say that something is similar or something is not 
similar. In this case, we're going to start when two things are similar. <coughs> we use as plus adjective or verb plus as to make comparisons when the things we are comparing are equal in some way. Uh, let's see. Isaura, can you read the examples, please? The first example. The fourth example. Okay. It is uh, beautiful as the yellow one. Continue. Okay. Amanda looks as pretty as her older sister. His shoes were are expensive as his new computer. The new teacher is a good as the previous one. Thank you. So when we say, for example, it is as beautiful as the yellow one, <clears throat> we want to say that it's the same. Both are beautiful. Amanda looks as pretty as her older sister. It means that Amanda and her sister are pretty, both, the two of them. His shoes were as expensive as his new computer. It means that the shoes and the, and the computer were expensive. Imagine very expensive shoes. <laughs> as expensive as a computer? Uh, those are the expensive shoes. And the teachers, the new teacher is good as the previous teacher means that two teachers are good. We want to say they are equal, the same. In this case, we use subject plus where plus as plus the adjective. Look, subject, subject, subject. It Amanda, his shoes, the new teacher. The verb is, looks, where is. Adjective, beautiful, uh, sorry, as, 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 as. The adjective, beautiful, pretty, expensive, good. As, 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 and the noun, the yellow one, her older sister, his new computer, the previous one. The second object. And we are comparing two things. Now, comparisons in negative. We use not as, adjective as, to make comparisons between things which aren't equal, things that are not the same. They are not equal. And we have the examples. Jairo, would you like to read the examples, please? We use not as, as to make comparisons between things which aren't equal. For example, they didn't they didn't play as well as they usually do. These new these new shoes are not as comfortable as my old harness. Once, once, once. The pasta dish is not a tasty as the rice dish. My grandpa is not as old as my grandma. The house is not as expensive as the apartment. Thank you, Jairo. So what, what each sentence, what does each sentence mean? For example, they didn't play as well as they usually do means that they usually play better. The new shoes, it wants to say that the old shoes are more comfortable. And the other, we want to say that the rice dish is better, is more, is tastier. And my grandpa is not as old as my grandma. Who is older, the grandpa or the grandma? Who is older? Grandpa. My grandpa is grandma. Grandma, grandma is more. Old. Grandma is old. The grandma is older. The grandma is older. Grandma is older. Mm -hmm. 
the house is not as expensive as the apartment. Which is more expensive, the apartment or the house? The apartment. The apartment. The apartment. The apartment. Very good. Excellent. Okay, we are going in the right way. Now, um, we have comparisons with nouns. Maybe these can confuse you a little, but it's not, it's not difficult. When we want to make comparisons referring to a quantity, we use as much as with uncountable nouns and as many as with plural nouns, with countable nouns. So that is the difference. Much with uncount nouns and many with count nouns. And we have three examples. Let's see. Uh, Karen, would you like to read the three examples, please? My teacher. Can you read the examples, Karen? Okay. Greg makes as much money as me, Mike, but not as much as Nate. They try to give them as much freedom as they can. There weren't as many people there as I expected. <laughs> Thank you. So we can see here, money is uncountable. So we use much. Greg makes as much money as me, but not as much as Neil. So who makes more money? Who makes more? Mike. Of the three, Greg, Nick, Nick. or Neil? Neil. Neil. Neil, exactly. Greg and Nick yes. makes the same. Greg makes as much money as Nick, but not as much as Neil. So Greg and Nick makes the same amount of money, but Neil makes more. They try to give them as much freedom as they can. In this case, freedom is? Uncountable. That's why we use much. As much. Okay? As much freedom as they can. And the last example. There weren't as many people there as I expected. So in this case, we why why it's many why it is used many countable, here countable because people is countable countable is a plural now mm -hmm. there weren't as many people there as I expect. So what is the structure, the formula? Subject, Greg, they, there. Oops. The verb makes, try to give, weren't, as, 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 as. Many or much, 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 many. The noun, money, freedom, and people. The, the as, 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 and noun. Nick, they can, I expect. Okay, now it's time to practice. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, so we're going to start with many and much. You have to tell me what is the correct form, many or much. In the band, there are us musicians. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Many. many, many, many. In the band, there are as many musicians as there are singers in the chorus. What does it mean? Much. What does it mean? What does the first sentence mean? We have the same quantity of musicians and the same quantities of 
Seeing her. Seeing her. Okay, the second one. There are as <coughs> many photographs. Many photographs. Many or much? Many. <coughs> there are as many photographs of me as my brother. What does it mean? ¿Qué significa? There are as many photographs of me as my brother. Hay más fotografías mías que de mi hermano. ¿Hay más? ¿O hay igual? My, many is much. Mm. Same. Oh. Same. Same is igual, verdad? As, as. There are as many photographs of me but, as another. Teacher, but I, 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 I understand. Any is similar, similar. As, because to use as. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. As in as means the same, the same, okay? Mm -hmm. So, there are as many photographs of me as my brother. It means that, for example, there are 20 photographs of me and there are 20 photographs of my brother. Hay okay. tantas this... fotografías mías como de mi hermano. It's the same, it's the same, the, because how the same, the same the program. Exactly. Okay, Take next example. There is a homework in math as in English. Many homework. There much, is many, many homework. Much homework in math. Much, much homework, yes, because much homework homework. is uncountable. Mm. Uncountable. Mm. 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 So there is as much homework in math as in English. Mm -hmm. Okay, the same quantity. A park doesn't have as trees as a forest. Many. Okay. Many. Many. As many, many trees. Exactly. A park doesn't have as many trees as a forest. Okay, this is negative. We have not as as. Uh, in this case, who or what, what has more trees? The park or the forest? The forest. The forest, <laughs> the forest. exactly. Forest. A park doesn't have as many trees as a forest. Obviously, a forest, have, a forest has more. My cell phone doesn't have as a space as my desktop much, computer. Much space, much. 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 As much because the space much. is uncountable. My cell phone doesn't have as much space as my desktop computer. Obviously, a computer has more space than a cell phone, especially if it's a desktop computer. Okay, and look at the other example. I don't have as many, many money, much, much, much. 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 I don't have as much. I don't have as much money as Bill Gates. <laughs> Actually, I don't have as much money as a doctor because teachers don't earn as much as a doctor or as an engineer. Okay, we are poor. <laughs> okay, and the other BTS has as Many fans. Much, many see. fans. Yeah. Coldplay has. Coldplay has. Okay, so we want. I'm. To... I, I'm not agree. You don't agree with this. No. No. It's, what is it, it? There is not comparison. So, in your opinion, who has more fans? Coldplay. 
Hopefully, have a <laughs> Okay, nice. Yeah, more adult fans. <laughs> I'm a fan of Coldplay. But I just put it as an example, okay? <laughs> but thank you for your opinion. Oh, there's some people don't have electricity in their houses. Oh, I'm sorry for that. Okay, so <clears throat> we see it's not difficult, right? We just need to know if the noun is countable or non-countable. Because with plural or count nouns, we'll use many. Uncountable, will we use? Much, yes, I can read your lips. <laughs> Much. That's why it is important that you have the camera on because I can see your face. I can see if you are understanding. <laughs> Okay, good. Now, you have to choose what is the correct uh, sentence in each case. Look at the picture carefully. We have an iPhone, 1,000 euros, and a Samsung with 600 euros. The Samsung is not as cheap as the iPhone. The iPhone is as expensive as the Samsung, or the iPhone is not as cheap as the Samsung. The iPhone is not a, as cheap as the Samsung. Very good. It's sick. The iPhone is not as cheap as the Samsung, because Samsung is cheaper. Okay, very good. Second, we have a Big Mac with 540 calories, and we have a Whopper with 660 calories. <laughs> don't get hungry, please, don't get hungry. And we have the example. The Big Mac isn't as unhealthy as the Whopper, the Whopper isn't as unhealthy as the Big Mac. And the Big Mac isn't as healthy as the Whopper. What is the correct option? The Big Mac, the is Big Mac isn't as healthy as, as the Whopper. Whopper. Hey, great. You got it. Yes, the Big Mac isn't as unhealthy because the Whopper is unhealthy. The Whopper is unhealthy because it has more calories. That's right. 660 calories. Yes, 60, 660 calories. More calories than the Big Mac. Okay. Next, we have the elephant and the hippo. The elephant has 5,500 kilograms and the hippo 1,500 kilograms. So the hippo isn't as light as the elephant. The elephant isn't as heavy as the hippo or the hippo isn't as heavy as the elephant. The hippo isn't as heavy as the elephant. The hippo isn't as heavy. So, which is heavier? The elephant. The elephant. Excellent. Wow. I think we're going to finish the class before I expect it. <laughs> okay. Now, it's getting, it's getting more difficult. Nah, just kidding. Um, in the, fill in the gaps in the sentences with an appropriate adjective. A ver, a, a volunteer for letter A, a volunteer for letter B, a volunteer for letter C, and a volunteer for letter D. A,
48. Okay. Right now? Yeah. <laughs> I am 16 years <laughs> old. My brother is 14 years old. My brother isn't as older as me. Isn't as old, exactly. Old. Isn't as old as me. Mm -hmm. I am older, right? <laughs> because I am 16. Letter B. Letter B. Letter B. You can do it. You can do it. Um, maybe I'm not bad at tennis, but Laura is better. I'm not as good at tennis as Laura. Perfect. Yes, you got it. I'm not as good at tennis as Laura. She's better. Let us see. Thank you, Miss. Jen, one hundred sixty Thomas, uh, one hundred fifty five cent centimeters. Centimeters. Yes, similar. Jen is as tall as Thomas. Mm, James is as tall as Thomas. Thomas is taller, or James is taller. James yes. is taller. Ah, okay. So you have to think of the opposite. Mm -hmm. The tall is short. 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 Okay. So James is not as short, right? As Thomas, mm -hmm. because Thomas is shorter for five centimeters. By okay. five centimeters, but James is not as short as Thomas. Okay, and letter D. Thank you, Ruth. Letter D. David? A uh, Ferrari cost $250,000. A Porsche cost $150,000. A Porsche isn't as expensive as a Ferrari. That's correct. Yes. So a Ferrari is more expensive, right? So a Porsche isn't as expensive as a Ferrari. Excellent, good job. You could use the comparatives correctly in this case. But we still have more problems. Let's take a look at some more sentence structured examples. Look at, the, at these problems. Julia got an A in her math test. Adam also got an A in the same test. Therefore, we can say that Julia is as intelligent as Adam because they both got an A or 10. Harry is 160 centimeter. Peter is 175 centimeter. Therefore, we can say that Harry is not as tall as Peter, right? Because Peter is yes, five yes. centimeters. Yes, taller. <laughs> Peter is taller. <clears throat> so Harry is not as tall as Peter. <clears throat> what is the mean therefore? Therefore, por lo tanto. Okay. <clears throat> okay, let's do this. You can uh, type your answers in the chat. I will uh, leave you here thinking for a moment. Think about it with these problems. I will go and get some water because I need more water, okay? So please stay here, behave. Behave.
let's see oops what is the answer for the first problem The white car cost $50,000. The red car cost only $5,000. Use the adjective expensive to create a sentence. And obviously using as as. Yeah. The red car is more expensive than as white car. Okay, let's go little by little. First, the subject, right? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. The red car. Red car. Is... Um, car is more. Car is saying expensive. Expensive is not much expensive. It's and not. As, as expensive, expensive as the white car. Exactly. Okay, remember the structure. The red car is not is not as expensive as the white car because the white car is more expensive. Or we can say the white car is not as cheap as the red car. Okay. Second problem. The black sofa is comfortable. The brown sofa is also comfortable. Both are comfortable, the black and the brown. So? Use the adjective comfortable the to black, create the a black sense. sofa. Uh-huh, the black sofa. As comfortable as the black as the brown is as as comfortable as the brown sofa. Brown sofa. Yes, it's correct. The black sofa is as comfortable as the brown sofa. Okay. Next. The two wo the wool blanket is warm. The cotton blanket blanket is not very warm. Use the adjective warm to create a sentence. Yes, I know you're thinking, oh, we have here, the cotton blanket is not as, it's not as warm as the wool blanket. Yes, that's correct. Okay, you're going to help me. The cotton blanket is not as, is not, or isn't as, Warm as the wool blanket. Yes. Okay. My apartment has 50, 500 square feet. My apartment has 500 square feet. My boyfriend's apartment has 1,000 square feet. Use the adjective B to create a sentence. My apartment isn't as big as my boyfriend's apartment. 
That is the red meal. <laughs> if you sample meal, we understand. Okay. My apartment is not as big as my boyfriend's apartment. So that means that we are going to live in his apartment because his apartment is bigger. <laughs> my apartment is not as big as my boyfriend's apartment. Very nice. So I see that you understand the topic. Okay. Um, teacher, I don't understand to uh, uh, I don't understand. Uh, wait, uh, there are as many and as much. I don't, I don't get it too. You don't no, get it. Entiendo un poco. <laughs> okay. Um, uh -huh. let's see. Let me see if we have more examples here. We're going to finish this and then we go back to many and much. Okay, okay. in this case, Julia is 160 centimeter. Mary is also 160 centimeter. So use the adjective tall to create a sentence. Maybe Julia is as tall as Marie. <laughs> Maybe it's correct, yes. <laughs> Dudando. <laughs> no, but it's correct. Okay, great. Let's see, do we have more problems? Your house? In my house are equally beautiful. How can you say that using as as in a sentence? Mm. Your, your house, house is uh, house. continue. Yes. Yes, me. Your, your house. house is, uh, <laughs> yeah. Your house is as. Uh, Beautiful are my as, as my house as mine or as my house. Okay. Yes, both houses are beautiful. Not a competition. Oops. Okay. <coughs> I can see guys that you can um use the comparatives with adjectives very well. Now, Miguel wants to review the part of many and much. So we're going to go back. In this case, well, the difference here is that uh, we are not using adjectives here. If you notice, Miguel, in the previous examples with comparisons, we are using adjectives, beautiful, pretty, expensive, good, beautiful, big, tall, expensive, cheap, etc. But comparisons with nouns, as it says here, instead of an adjective, we are using nouns. And that's why here we have subject, the verb, as, we use many or much because it's a noun. And again, as, and again, another noun because we are comparing two things. So uh, here you have to think if it's a plural noun, you will use many. But if it's singular or uncount now, you will use 
much. And, and we have, the, we did the examples, right? But maybe we need to make more examples or more practice with this. Let me do something here. I'm going to add another slide. Okay. <laughs> let's compare. Um, we can. Let's compare two things. Okay. We need to compare things. Um. In the in the class when we have this class we were comparing houses and apartments. Or we can compare Salvador and we can compare United States. Okay, let's start first with houses and apartments. And think about things, objects, in the houses and in the apartments to make comparisons. Okay. We're gonna do it together. For example, about rooms. Who has, or what has more rooms? Houses or apartments? Houses. 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 Okay, so we can say houses. apartments. Don't have as many rooms as, as houses. House. Because houses have more rooms, okay? Mm -hmm. What is another difference between houses and apartments? Maybe the houses uh, yes, Margarita, I think it was. Thank you. The houses have has more privacy than apartments. Okay, so we can say apartments don't have as privacy is um Count or non count now? Non count now. I will use much. Non count. Should I use much or many? Many. Many. Privacy. Much. Ah, apartments don't have as much privacy as, as houses. Apartments don't have as much privacy as houses. So what is the difference? Rooms is plural noun. Privacy is count, uncount, uncount. And yeah, any other idea? For example, teacher, apartment don't have as jar. As house, oh, no, apartment don't have as char, don't have as. Okay, I know your idea. Char. You make it like this. Apartments much. don't have. Much. Um, as as much. As char. As many yeah. years, let's say. As yeah. house. As house as many years as houses. Okay. <laughs> and we can make a, a positive or affirmative comparative houses are as expensive, but I'm using an adjective as apartment. They are equally expensive, but I'm using adjective here. 
Now, let's compare El Salvador and United States with things they have. For example, I will help you. El Salvador doesn't have as many immigrants as United States. Because United States has millions of immigrants from different countries. Mm -hmm. El Salvador doesn't have as many buildings as United States. Okay, El Salvador doesn't have as many modern maybe modern building as USA. Maybe El Salvador doesn't have as many people as USA. Okay, population, right? Okay. And we are using many because people is plural, buildings is plural, immigrants are plural. El Salvador doesn't have as much space as USA. Exactly, because we are a small country. Exactly. <laughs> as much as space for construction or cultivating as United States, right? United States is a very huge country comparing to El Salvador. Okay, so we are comparing, you see, and we are using many and much. Miguel, is it clear now, Miguel? Yes, I get it. Excellent, I'm happy to know that. <laughs> Very good. Well, now I have some exercises that we can work on before we finish the class. Just give me a moment, I'm looking for the link here. They are very easy. <clears throat> okay. So you will write sentences with the pictures and the adjective between them. So you have to <laughs> look at them, at the pictures here, the adjective. Okay, so let's see, let's do it together. You will help me. So here we have Dora. Dora. Dora yes. is as ugly as Edwidge. <laughs> okay. Dora is as ugly as a witch. <laughs> oh, poor Dora. Okay, number two. We have the countryside, dry, and a desert. The countryside. Is as a dry, it's dry, a desert. Really? The Mash. It's not. Ah, it's not as not as dry as a desert. 
a desert. The countryside is not as dry as the desert, right? The countryside is, is fresh and is a colorful. <laughs> okay, Boris and Mike. Boris is Boris is not as strong strong as my both are strong look strong man a gas lamp bright in a modern lamp A gas lamp. Right. A gas lamp. Is a bright. Is a. Is not bright. Is not as bright as modern lamp. Exactly. A modern lamp is brighter. A green car and a red car. Well, this green car and this red car. And the adjective is expensive. Green car isn't as expensive as a red car. It's not as expensive as a red car. Okay. And number six, we have Winnie, Dotty, and a pig. Winnie is the same as dark, very thin as a pig. It's as dirty as a pig. <laughs> okay, a housewife and a bee, and the adjective is busy. <laughs> I like this example. A wife, a wife. <laughs> a housewife. Housewife. Is <laughs> is a busy as a busy as a bee. Yes, bee is already a hard workers. So housewives are two, right? We do a lot of things. Multi stack. Multi. -stack multitasking, look, she's ironing the clothes, taking care of the cat, feeding the baby, answering the phone, taking care of the dog. <laughs> At the same time. Now we have the man and the hippo. The man is in as a fat as a hippo. Okay, good. The man is not as fat as a hippo. George and a wolf. George has on is as hungry as a wolf. George is as hungry as a wolf. Wow, wolf. very hungry. The winner and the picker. Mm. The winner is a winner as a brow as a pickup. Yeah, like a pickup, right? <laughs> and then we have the boy and the lion. The boy isn't as gray as a lion. Well, in this case, I the boy is as gray as a lion because I make it negative and it was incorrect. So the boy is as gray as a lion. We're going to check the answers. <gasps> oh, I forgot here to write the car, a green car. Ah, yeah, I didn't notice. And here, a gas lamp is not as bright as a ah, modern lamp. I forgot the article. Ah, it was my mistake. Okay, but the structure is correct. Very good. 
Well, guys, I need to take the attendance, so please wake up. I will send you another exercise and you can do it while I take the attendance, okay? I'm gonna send it to you right away and you can do it by your own. Again, it's about comparative, but it, you have to use the, the, the adjectives at the beginning of the, of the exercise. Have to look what is the correct adjective. Maybe you can find new vocabulary here, maybe. And please say present or here when I mention your name. Mm -hmm. The first person in the list is Adriana Gretel Gonzalez. Are you in the class, Adriana Gretel? Miss Gonzalez? I'm afraid she's not. Ana Silvia Rodriguez de Funes. I'm here, teacher. Nice. Blanca Guadalupe Benavides. Here, teacher. Blanca Margarita Guevara. Present. David Alonso Mejia. Present. Isaú Ismael. Present. Evelyn Marroquín. Evelyn? But she was having problems. Francisco Villafuerte. Francisco? I saw Francisco connected so minutes ago, but he's not right now. Uh, Glendy Elisette Flores. Here. Giselle Marie Hernandez. Giselle Marie. Okay, thank you. Iris Janet Martinez. Isaura Evelia Vázquez. Present teacher. Iron Amán Moss. Present. Josué Miguel Portillo. Present. Karen Elizabeth Bernal. Present teacher. Karen Ivette Villanueva. Present teacher. Um, Kenia Vanessa Villanueva Guzmán. Sorry, that is Karen Ivette. Kenia Vanessa Corpera Portillo. Kenia Vanessa. Leslie Victoria Morán. Present teacher. Thank you, Leslie. Luisa Ariana Guerra Cáceres. Present. Mayra Patricia Pérez de García. Present. Nerlin Jaciel Flores Reyes. Present teacher. Thank you, Nerlin. Ninrop Saúl Guzmán. Present. Nubia Cristina Morales. Present. Oscar Alexander Santana Reyes. Present, teacher. Ok, Oscar Renato Salvador Ramírez. Present, teacher. Ruth Noemí Beltrán Sánchez. Present, teacher. Jenny Carolina Jardón Cruz. Present, teacher. Ok, people remember it's very important to attend the last classes because some people don't have the percentage. Remember, you need to have the 80%. The, I only have two people, or almost three, almost four people with the percentage already like. That is uh, Blanca Guadalupe. Ruth Beltrán and Miguel and Esa U with the percentage, the 80%. The others you still need, you still need more, more minutes. So imagine you connect to the class, but you connect late. You will be missing those 10 minutes or 20 minutes. So it's important that you attend every class since the beginning to the end, okay? And 
Well, congratulations if you already finished all the sections in the platform. And I don't know if you have already registered for the next course. Did you register? Yes, I did. Okay. Yes, I did. When do you start the next one? I don't know. <laughs> okay, you need to ask. Well, uh, we finish on Monday. Okay, we are going to finish on Monday our course. And I have one in assignment for you. This is going to be for tomorrow. <clears throat> Oops. The assignment is this. You will talk about a, a famous deaf person. Okay. It's a famous person, but it's not alive. It's a person that is deaf. Okay. You will talk about when the person was born. Uh, talk about his childhood, maybe a little bit about his childhood, his education, important achievements, family, and what happened, right, to the person, why the person died. Could be a singer, an actor, a president, any other person, okay? A famous person. I don't want you to read uh, like a lot because biographies on the internet are very long. I just want you to talk about it for one minute, only one minute, and try to say it in your own words, okay? Try just to, to take the most important of the biography and share with the class. If you want, you can share um, a picture of this famous person, okay? Do you have any questions about the assignment? No. What I want you to practice with this is the simple past, the past tense, especially the pronunciation, pronunciation of past verbs. Okay, so be careful with that. And that's it. That was the class for this evening. Mm -hmm. I hope to see you tomorrow. Okay, have a good night. Good dream. Thank you. Thank Thank you too. See you soon. Good night. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.